Hello everyone. This is Shafiuddin Muhammad. Today, we'll try to discuss about web roles and enhanced data model in a power pages. Role is the security role, like how we have in Dynamics 365 CRM, we have a, for user, we have a security role, right? Like that, in the same way, in power, port, power portals or power pages, we have a contact entity is the main entity through that we are giving access to the power pages. So here, if you see, we have a web roles concept here. Okay, so web roles concept. Basically, for every contact, whoever log into the portal, right? So it might be in any portal. So they will log in through the a contact entity. If you have it, if they have a contact record, then they enable they are able to log in. Okay. So for that, uh, we will assign some security web roles. Okay. So web roles is nothing but which is equals to security roles only. So here, if you see earlier, so <clears throat> earlier, if you see there are related column is there underneath related, there is a separate. Uh, we we are able to see the web roles. Okay, web roles entity. But uh, as per the once uh, this data enhancement uh, methodology has been came into the picture after enabling this setting, right? In your power pages, those has been that uh, it is not you are not able to see in the power uh, portal management. So where you need to see basically in contact you have a different forms are there. So portal contact form is there, right? Under the, the portal contact form, if you go here, so there in the general, if you see. This is the this is the area you are able to see. So manually, what we are doing, for example, if you want to assign or uh, uh, associate or disassociate any web role, what you will do, you will, for example, you will select this one, and uh, uh, you will remove like this. Okay. So usually we'll remove like this. Okay. For example, if I want to assign, so simply I will select this one. This is a manual type of work which you used to do. Okay. But now, for example. For example, I want to do it uh, through the programmatically means like uh, through power automate, uh, which is a low code, no code concept completely automatically. I need to handle. So what should I do? Because earlier we are directly targeting playing with the ADX underscore web role table. But now the picture has been changed after coming into the this uh, separated data enhancement model. So what we need to do, how we can do this. So in this video, we try to understand exactly how we can relate and relate the uh, contact record and web role record. So web role is nothing but whatever the roles and roles are there, right? Those all records will be created as a records in a web role entity and contact entity. Basically, this is a association and disassociation. Association is also called as a relate and disassociation is also called as a unrelate. Okay, now let me, let's get started. So I have a make.powerapp.com, powerautomate.com. So I came here. So simply here now, uh, like I want to try it instantly. So I'm selecting it as a instant cloud flow. So let me skip this one and straightforwardly I'll jump to uh, flow screen. So here, so trigger. So add a trigger, what, uh, whatever the trigger you want. So for example, I want to it, uh, trigger it uh, now itself. So that's the reason I'm adding this manually trigger a flow action. So what I will do here. So simply I'm playing here with the two, uh, two, two entities so two tables one is contact and second one is the web role okay so for example as per the business condition so so and so condition satisfy then i need to remove this business role if so condition satisfy i need to add this web role this type of a business uh, requirement i might get so to achieve those business requirement what i can do see for simply what i can do here so as of now for testing say i have added it as a manually trigger a flow simply i declare a two a inputs. So one input I'll call it as a contact GUID. So for example, which contact I want to make it right. So that contact GUID I will pass into this uh, input. And again, second, uh, I will take the web role GUID. Okay. So we need two GUIDs, two unique GUIDs. Okay. So which I have declared as a inputs. So Okay, now what I will do here, 
So simply as you can see here, I am removing this one. Now I am adding one more action here. So here, what I need to do. So first, uh, what we do, we, what we try to understand here, how we can remove the anonymous rebel. So for example, as you can see, Muhammad Shafiuddin contact record is there. So for that contact record, as of now, you can see on the screen, there are two web roles are associated. One is administrator and second one is the anonymous user. So for example, I want to remove the anonymous user role for this web role for this Muhammad Shafiuddin. So what I will do here, so oh, I need to first uh, see. So this one I need to do, right? So what I will do, see, I will go with first Microsoft Datawars. So because this is the Datawars, right? So within the Datawars, it is happening. So here, see, Datawars is there. So what I will select here, get row by ID. Okay, I'll select this one, get row by ID. So here, what I will do, see here, try to understand very clearly. See, here, earlier in a tables, we are selecting we are selecting earlier a, a web roles table, but now for unrelate. So we are selecting here site components table. See here site component table we are selecting here simply. Okay. And here what I am doing, I will pass here it as dynamic input. So whatever I have selected, right? Press okay symbol to insert the dynamic or input so i'm pressing symbol now i can see here insert dynamic content or insert expression so i'm clicking here insert a dynamic content and from here i'll try to search it for a so basically here uh, web role right so what i will do here web role gu id okay so here web role guid it will take and it will get okay so this is i will get i'm i'm getting here this one as you can see on the screen uh i am getting the web role get a row by id okay get a row by id i'm taking here now what i will do here simply i will type unrelate see here unrelate unrelate so here i can see here unrelate so now what table i will select i want to unrelate uh, this uh, thing between web role and contact so make sure in the table name you should select as a contact okay contact you need to select so here i have selected as a content a row id again i need to pass it as a dynamic so insert a dynamic and here contact guid i have declared one variable right i'll take this guid and pass it so here and this is the one of the most important thing which you need to select so here basically here you can see this is the relationship which you need to select this is the change which happened earlier if you see which is disabled uh, enhanced model disabled there you are not able to see this relationship but the sites which has been enabled so for those you need to select contact dash power pages component underscore mspp underscore web role underscore contact relationship okay so here you need to select this now in unrelate simply again i'll pass it as a dynamic so i'll pass here it as a o data id so here i'll search for the o data I'm getting here it as old data and selecting here it as a old data. So simply what I will do here. So here for your information again, I am repeating here manually. I am passing two inputs. One is the contact GUID and second one is the web role GUID. Okay. After that secondary thing I have taken. I am doing a query. I am returning the record to get the old data from the site components, which is associated with that web role. So here in the second step, I am doing this one now the third step which i am trying to do here unrelating the steps between the here i have selected first initially contact table and after that i am passing the dynamic value of the contact guid the record which i want to disassociate that and after that i am passing here it as a relationship relationship as you can see the relationship the relationship is this is the new which is the new change okay so again in the unrelated model there are multiple 
two ways to do. One is you can pass through the API also, as you can see on the screen, using the API format also, HTTP, colon, hyphen, organic, whatever the CRM API data, V9, like this also you can pass. But here I'm taking audit ID. Okay, here, this is how we have. So these are the three simple steps which I have collected. Now what I will do, uh, this is my unrelate, right? Unrelate the, okay, unrelate, unrelate MS flow. Okay, simply I'm ready, unrelate. Now I'm clicking on the save button, as you can see on the screen, my flow is getting saved. So now my flow successfully saved, as you can see on the screen, there is a, so here, test, test is there. So let me test it manually. So here I can see manual button is there. Okay, now I'm selecting here test. So basically, as you can see on the screen, so there are two things I need to pass. One is contact GUID and web role GUID. Which one you want to disassociate, basically. So what I'll do here, you can see, this is the Muhammad Shafiuddin regard. As of now, I am doing it as a normal way, but in with respect to your project, you need to get one based on your condition. So here, see, for example, first I will try to get the, I want, to disassociate this anonymous web role. So what I will do to get that a GUID, there are multiple ways through the URL also you can get or else uh, one of the most famous plugin we have a level up dynamics 365 record ID is there, right? So through this also you can get. So here simply I'm selecting here and copy this one, control C and go to this a web role GUID paste here. Okay, now I have pasted here web role GUID. Now I'm coming to her. As you can see on the screen, this is my contact. Mohammed Shafiuddin contact is there. So for this contact only, there are two, right? So now I need the contact GUID also. What I will do again, I'll go to the other Dynamics 365 record ID. So the record ID here, I am passing it as a, uh, Statically, you in your case might be you need to pass it as a dynamically as per your requirement. Okay, so here I'm passing here it as a hard coded one, hard coded values of the contact GUID and web role GUID, and after that I'm clicking on the run flow. Okay, run flow button. Now my flow started execution. As you can see on the screen, my flow started an execution. So here. My flow successfully completed and it has been less than a second, it has been disassociated. So the regards between disassociated. So here, as you can see, this is the time which has been executed, everything we can see here. So now let me go to here. So here, as you can see on the screen, I still am able to see this anonymous users. But here, for example, I will re do refresh, Control Shift R, Control Shift R, I have pressed two times and let me check the changes whether reflecting or not. So I'm going it here again down as you can see on the screen. So there are, as you can see on the screen, there is no more uh, uh, anonymous web role is there. Okay, this is how you will unrelate or disassociate both are same terminologies, terminologies are different, but say meanings are same. So this is how you can unrelate to the power automate flow. So till now we have learned about the power automate flow. So now let's try to understand relate concept. Okay, so we'll try to understand the same thing with the relate also. So see, you might be getting, sir, we have already side components, right? So we have here selected it as a, earlier we are selecting here it as a table row, web roles, right? But here now we are selecting it as a uh, side component. So is the same workable for unrelate also? Let's say practically. So here, remove this one. I am removing this step. Okay, I am removing this step. And here the same thing, whatever the same thing is get row by ID, everything I'm keeping it as a straight. And here, let me try with the Microsoft Dataverse. So instead of doing relate, I know this one. So let me directly place the sentence relate, uh, relate rows. So as you can see on the screen, relate rows. So here I'm selecting it as a contacts. Okay, 
contact I have selected. Now again here contact the GUID I need to pass. So here whatever the contact the GUID is there. So contact the GUID you can see here and here power pages component. So this is the relationship. See I'm selecting contact dash power pages underscore MSPP underscore web role underscore contact and again here I'm passing ODHR of the with this again so the same way the simply the changes are only the connector chain action item i have changed that's it apart from that everything is the same so now is the same thing i have kept and only i have changed whether it this the formula will work for the same or not so let's see so now try to save this flow and try to execute the flow again with the same type way okay now test click on the test button now this one and with the recent trigger for example anyhow anyhow let me select it manually okay now again i need to give contact uid so the same thing so uh, this is my contact right so i'll go here and from here i'm taking it as a contact uid contact GOID and now I'll so let me uh, let me get the let me get this uh, web role uh, web role GOID because now here I am not able to see so I want to associate this web role right so here I'm going left hand side web roles and I'll get the GOID of the uh, anonymous user so for example if i want to assign the anonymous user web role so here i'm going and clicking on the level of dynamics 365 record id and from here i'm getting this uh, guid copy control c and after that here go to control v and paste it and after that click on the run a flow i started execution the flow as you can see on the screen it started whether it will execute it will relate the row or not that's the challenge we have so as you can see on the screen the my ms flow is saying that my web role and association association is successfully done between the contact and web role so this is my statement of the uh, microsoft flows now let me go and check with the practically with my uh, contact record so let me go so this is the Muhammad Shafiuddin record now earlier as you, as you can see here so see even earlier we don't have now just now anonymous user has been related so this is how basically will relate so simply here the main thing which you need to understand here see basically everything is the same so earlier we are playing with the web role table but now everything is stated microsoft saving as a virtual table under the side component table so simply this is the way first you need to select the get a row by id action item from there get the old data and after that use the action item of the relate and relate and again in the relate and relate also first in the table name you need to select a contact and relationship you need to select it as a with this contact dash power pages underscore mspp and underscore web role contacts so this is the way we can implement this so earlier we have a different way to implement this one so earlier we are directly instead of the uh, side power side components we are directly playing with the adx underscore web role so this is the change we need to accept this is how uh, now uh, the um, programmatically or dy dynamically we are handling the uh, web role assignment so that's it for the today let's meet in the next video